look at that view. That may be the best thing we've seen all day. Yeah. Well, hey there, guys. Welcome to another Mission America adventure. When you last saw us, we were near Lake Mead, and we had a great time we exploring did. the Red Rock Canyon area, didn't we? Yeah, we if you did. haven't checked that episode out yet, you'll definitely want to do that for some amazing scenery. Yeah, it was such a beautiful place, and we hated to leave, but we did drive the Lake Mead Scenic Highway yeah. on our way here, and we got a glimpse of some wild donkeys <laughs> on the side of the road as they were running off away from the traffic. Yeah, the traffic kind of spooked uh -huh. them, and they ran off, and I just happened to get a good shot of right. them. Uh, so that was really cool, and just when we arrived at our campground, we came upon a couple of bighorn sheep that were grazing, and so it was really cool to see some wildlife, and, and then a helicopter came along and spooked them, and I happened to be recording at the right. time, so we made it for some kind of exciting action to see them We've leaving the area. We've been looking for some bighorn sheep. We haven't seen them before, so that was, that was great that to was see really, them. That was really, really cool. Uh, and for the next four days, we're going to be at Valley of Fire State Park. This place has been on our bucket list mm -hmm. for quite a while because it has some great hikes, some great scenery, and a great campground that we're going to oh, show as well. So we're going to show you all of that. For now, let's go. Let's go. And up first, we're going to hike the most popular trail in the park, which is actually a loop that combines three of the most popular trails into one hike. Those trails are Fire Wave, White Domes, and Seven Wonders. The loop is 3.2 miles long, it's rated moderate, and has just under 400 feet of climbing. We're starting our hike at the Fire Wave Trailhead, which consists of two loops, a bigger loop and a smaller loop. We're doing the bigger loop first, then we'll cross over to finish up the hike with the smaller loop. There are a few additional attractions on our hike today, which will require us to go off trail just a bit to include them. We'll tell you a little bit more about them later in this episode. Paula, we made it to Fire Wave and I am blown away. Me too, it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Well, Fire Wave was as cool as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was beautiful. I loved climbing around up there. So much to explore, so many different views. Right. Just amazing. It's supposed to be similar to the wave in Utah, but obviously it's much more accessible. And today it wasn't crowded at all because it is pretty chilly out here. Yeah, I think there's a lottery system for the wave in Utah. Right. Uh, this one, there's no lottery, no permit required. Just pull up to the trailhead and come on. Well, we finished up our time here at Fire Wave. Gonna head on to Seven Wonders. So this is Pink Canyon, and normally we would walk down in the canyon, but because of all the rain, it is flooded out, at least in this first portion. So the other end of Pink Canyon was not flooded, so we're backtracking just a little bit to see it.
This is a cool mini slot canyon. <laughs> it's a fun little canyon. Paula and I love slot canyons. We've never met a slot canyon that we have not enjoyed exploring. So much fun. We took a wrong turn, but all trails to the rescue. It turned out okay, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we just finished up the smaller loop, and now we're gonna take the connector to the larger loop and finish that one too. As you near the end of the bigger loop, there are a couple of options. You can take the main trail onto the finish, or you can take a side route over Crazy Hill. Or you can do what we did, and that is take one of them, backtrack to see the sights on the other one, and then complete the hike. We went on the Crazy Hill route first, which had just amazing coloring on the rock formation that you walk across. After that, we circle back onto the main trail to visit Fire Cave and its neighbor, Windstone Arch. From there, we climbed just a bit and rounded a corner to visit Thunderstorm Arch, which was one of our favorite rock formations of the day. It's tucked around the backside of a large rock and it's easy to miss it. Having the All Trails app helped us find it since it was marked on the app. That is pretty cool. That is cool. I love it. For our next hike, we've driven down the road just a bit to the Rainbow Vista Trailhead. Yeah, the Rainbow Vista Trail is an out and back. It's rated easy, just a mile long with less than 100 feet of climbing. The trail takes you to Fire Canyon Overlook, which is supposed to have a great view, but the view's not too bad right here, right off the parking lot. We are just 30 seconds into this hike and already treated to some amazing views here. If a little arch isn't beautiful enough, you round the corner to this. Look at that view. That may be the best thing we've seen all day. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. This is the end of the trail. It is Fire Canyon Overlook, and it is amazing. Not much to see here. Let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and I were just saying that throughout the day today, during our hikes, there have just been so many look at that, look at that moments. I mean, it was like uh, overstimulated today with so much natural beauty out here. Just stunning every step of the way. Well, those two hikes were so much fun. I mean, five star rating oh, for both of them, right? They were great. Just blown away by the beauty here. Um, so for our remaining time here at Valley of Fire State Park, we're gonna drive the scenic road and explore the overlooks and there's plenty of rock formations to take a look at on our way. And there's also this big, huge rock near Fire Wave that we saw people uh -huh. climbing on uh, yesterday. And so we hope to get to the top of that as well. Lots to see, and we're gonna share it all with you guys as well. Well, there is so much to explore in this state park besides the hiking trails. There is a scenic drive with amazing views around every turn and plenty of places to pull over for photo spots. There are a couple of 
great campgrounds tucked into the rock formations, one with electric hookups and one without, um, both of which are on a first come, uh, first serve basis. Um, when you drive down Fire Canyon Road, uh, you may see some wildlife and you'll definitely see some great views, especially at the end with Silica Dome directly in front of you and then you have the canyon off to your right. Um, with a lot of rocks, arches, and petroglyphs and more, there are quite a few places where you can see some interesting things um, without leaving your car or with uh, some very short walks. And you can just do some exploring, uh, but when you do, be sure to watch for signs. You should never climb on the arches, and there are places marked where you should not stray off the trail. Uh, so be aware of that. We thoroughly enjoyed Valley of Fire State Park and we hope that you get the chance to come here and enjoy it too, uh, either for the first time or another return visit. We have stopped in for breakfast at the top rated breakfast spot in the Las Vegas area according to TripAdvisor. Yeah, it's the number two rated restaurant of all restaurants in the Las Vegas area and it's excellent. No, seriously, that's the name of it, excellent. <laughs> And here comes our wonderful server, Alexis, Alexis. with plenty of food. Yeah, warm plate kibble advice. You brought the goods, didn't you? All the goods. You can't go wrong. <laughs> we won't leave you hungry either. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So as we often do, we ordered a couple of different things that we're going to share today. I ordered the stuffed French toast, which sounds amazing. It's made with buttery croissants that are stuffed with creamy Italian mascarpone cheese, dipped in their house batter, and grilled until golden brown. Then it's sprinkled with powdered sugar and served with homemade strawberry compote, and we added some bananas. And I ordered the Power Omelet, which has bacon, ham, sausage, and cheddar cheese. And it comes with country potatoes and sourdough toast. They both look amazing, and I'm glad we're sharing today. All right, Paula, what do you think about this feast? It looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. Well, excellent lived up to its name, didn't it? Oh, it it did. really was excellent. It was. And we had never had croissant French toast before, but they were delicious. It was yummy. And that omelet was delicious oh, as well. Was. Everything that we had was really, really good. Great service. Yeah, I can't say enough about the, the service here. The staff was amazing from the people who seated us to people who came by to check on us. Yes. And of course, Alexis took real good care of us. So if you're in the area, definitely check them out. They live up to their high rating. Right. Um, that's going to end our time in Nevada. We're heading on to Arizona from here. We have had an amazing time at the two parks that we've visited, yeah. Red Rock Canyon and, of course, Valley of Fire State Park. Looking forward to seeing what's next at a few parks that are on our list for Arizona. But for now, that's it for our mission. What's your mission? Okay, what am I saying now? What am oh, I no, saying? Okay. okay. Who's saying what? You're starting out, and I'm going to jump in with something. Is there a about teleprompter I can use somewhere? I need it. I need a <laughs> teleprompter. Okay. Get off me, bro. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this is still rolling, isn't it? Okay. Okay. What's up to Watch your head. <laughs> Fail. What happened? I hit my head. Uh. <laughs> we have never had. Uh, are you serious? Are you serious right <laughs> Try now? Try again. Try again. We never had food like that before. <laughs> well, hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Our mission in every episode of this vlog is to share one of our fun-filled adventures with you guys. But our greater mission in life is to share our hope and happiness with you. 
One of the ways we do this is through a short faith-based thought for the day that I write. They take about a minute to read each day. They're free and they're available at finishlinefaith.com or facebook.com forward slash finishlinefaith. I hope you'll take a look.